Hi everyone, Don Braden here. Today I'd like to share with you some simple ways to incorporate diatonic patterns into jazz improvisation. I'm going to make a series of videos with different patterns. Today I'd like to focus on rhythm. Diatonic patterns are any pattern that comes out of a scale. We can start with simple ones and uh, what's great about them is that most of us at some point begin our practice and actually continue for many years practicing different types of diatonic patterns for our dexterity, for scale knowledge, um, and just for general uh, musicality, since a lot of music is based on scales. The first pattern I like to start with is one of the simplest ones. Uh, one of the ones I worked on when I was a little guy is just diatonic thirds. So I work in the key of C. Uh, naturally, uh, we can practice in 12 keys. We should practice in 12 keys. I'll start in the key of C, and I'll just play diatonic thirds in kind of the normal way. Very straight ahead, and I think we've all heard that one. Many of us have heard that one uh, over the or played it at some point. The trick with using it for jazz, using these kinds of patterns for jazz, is to uh, make it swing. Right, so the way you make a, a pattern, any kind of pattern swing, uh, is to make the, for every pair of eighth notes, the first eighth note's a bit longer, and there's a little push, little accent on that second eighth note. So I'll play the same pattern in a swing style. <laughs> So in that way, there's a bit of a bounce, and uh, the feel of the pattern is more in keeping with the jazz style. So to demonstrate how this fits in an improvisational situation, I'll play it along with a track with Jamie Ebersold, volume 54, uh, one of the tracks from that, the Impressions track, which you can easily get online. Uh, you should buy it online. And um, we'll see how, how it fits. And I can. In addition to the swing rhythm, I can syncopate the rhythm a bit as well, so you'll hear me do that. That's it, it's pretty straight ahead. Once you get the feel for making the diatonic pattern swing, you can apply it to all kinds of different tunes. Watch out for subsequent videos as I get deeper into the idea of utilizing diatonic patterns for jazz improvisation. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and practice well.